What's up? So I wanted to make a quick video just showing the settings I have for ICO for the PC SX2 emulator. Um, and there's a million different settings that you can mess with on this emulator, so it can be pretty complicated. Um, so that's why I wanted to show some settings that I have tested personally. I just got done playing the entire game, and basically these settings were about as good as you'll get like I had almost zero issues it ran very well so I just wanted to show these now these are uh, your plugin settings which I think mostly you can copy but the GS sec setting I think it depends on what CPU you're using I'm using an i3 2130 you might want to use a different one although I think multiple versions of these settings here like see how there's five I think maybe a few of them will work for you but you might want to go with the one that is specific for yours like so it says SSE2 it's different CPUs support different versions of that and then the other one like AVX like that's only certain CPUs do that so I would look that up for your CPU and then that's all you have to worry about on this page now the rest is um pretty simple because it's mostly default but here are the graphic settings I went with the DirectX 11 hardware renderer uh, also I had the it resolution at eight times the native because like I said you know I do have a decent graphics card it's a GTX 1060 and then I had the full safest as far as the CRC hack and then the hardware hacks all I had was half pixel offset which so you definitely want that I have all the shader stuff off um, then, wait, what am I saying? Oh, emulation settings. That's an important one. <laughs> but most of these, I believe, are just default. Like the first few of these, I think, are just on the default settings. This, though, is mostly on default except for this MTVU. You want that enabled. But that is basically it for the settings that you'll need to run ICO smoothly and I'll show up some gameplay just for the hell of it but uh, yeah it ran very smoothly for me 60 frame per second 8 times the resolution and stuff so yeah if you wanna run the game well try these out they worked very well for me play the entire game with no slow motion stuff, no stutteriness for the most part, and yeah, it ran to 60 frames the entire time, so yeah, hopefully these help you. Peace out.